Hello people, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Pottermore quiz. I really enjoy doing these Pottermore quizzes, they really do test your Harry Potter knowledge. And I think it's safe to say I've not done as well as I hoped I would have on previous quizzes, but this one, the Serious Black quiz, I have a feeling it's going to be different. And at any rate, if they ask me anything about Serious Black's family, the Black family tree, I feel like I'm going to be quite good at that because years ago I had a kind of obsession with the black family tree and I would study it and try and figure out who was related to who and how everyone was related so yeah if they asked me about the black family tree I feel like I might be kind of good at that but yes yeah, Sirius Black he's one of the greatest characters in the Harry Potter universe and we are going to celebrate him by answering some questions about him if you want to play along at home please do give me your answers in the comments section below if you are new to my channel and you haven't already then why not subscribe to join my little magical corner and and if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to leave a like. Okay, so the Serious Black quiz, the Back to Serious Black quiz. Nice pun there, Pottermore. Take our seriously hard quiz to find out how well you know Harry's godfather, Sirius Black. Sirius Black was a mysterious man. We even thought he was a murderer for a while, but once we got to know the real Sirius, we realised he was blacklisted for no reason. It's time to test your knowledge on the talented Animagus and former Marauder. The loser gets a wrongful imprisonment in Azkaban. Just kidding. I do like these little intros and outros that the Pottermore quizzes do. Okay, back to Sirius Black. Pressing start. This, like many of the other Pottermore quizzes, is out of 30. So this is going to be a long one, so I'm gonna try and get through the questions as quickly as I can. Question number one. In which book is Sirius Black first mentioned? The Goblet of Fire, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, or Philosopher's Stone? Ah, now I can guarantee that this is a trick question for a lot of people who think, oh, the first time we see Sirius Black is in Prisoner of Azkaban. But that wasn't the first time he was mentioned, it was Philosopher's Stone. How many years did Sirius spend in Azkaban? 11, 13, 12 or 10? <laughs> I'm thinking about that line. I've done my waiting 12 years of it in Azkaban! <laughs> yeah, it's definitely 12. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, who asked Harry to promise he wouldn't go looking for Sirius? Molly Weasley, Professor McGonagall, Arthur Weasley or Cornelius Fudge? It was Arthur Weasley. Question number four. Why was Sirius blasted off the Black family tapestry? He ran away, he befriended half-bloods, he was arrested or he was sorted into Gryffindor. It was because he ran away. I mean, he did all of these other things, but the reason he was blasted off the tapestry family tree was because he ran away. Number five. Who did Sirius say was the most intelligent of his kind I've ever met? Dobby, Buckbeak, Crookshanks, or Pigwidgeon? Well, Pig, as he's nicknamed, is definitely not intelligent. <laughs> no, it's Crookshanks. He said that about Crookshanks because Crookshanks is half Neasel, and if you don't know what a Neasel is, read Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. <laughs> Question number six, in what year was Sirius arrested? 1980, 1982, 1983 or 1981? Why do all the years have to be right next to each other? When was Harry born? Harry was born in 1980. He was arrested a year after, so 1981 I should go for. What was the name of Sirius Black's mother? See, I told you if they mentioned the Black family tree, I would know it. Morgana, Wilhelmina, Morwenna or Welberger. I don't know if I'm pronouncing those right by the way but I always said it was Wildberger so yes it's Wildberger. What creature was Harry reminded of when he first saw a picture of Sirius? A werewolf in fairy, a dementor or a vampire? I'm pretty sure he reminded him of a vampire because he was very pale and had like really gaunt cheeks and you know was really thin and stuff and you know the kind of characteristics you associate with a vampire so yes he reminded him of a vampire. Apart from Padfoot what other nickname did Sirius go by? Rascal, Scruffy, Rover or Snuffles? That was Snuffles. To whom was Sirius referring to when he said, if you want to know what a man's like, take a good look at how he treats his inferiors, not his equals. Barty Crouch Senior, Cornelius Fudge, Lucius Malfoy or Albus Dumbledore. I'm pretty sure this was said in Goblet of Fire. It's between Cornelius Fudge and Barty Crouch Senior. I'm gonna go for Barty Crouch Senior. Oh, 
That was correct. Cool. I was a bit worried about that one. According to the quibbler, what was Sirius Black's real name? Stanley Pringle, Stanford Burble, Stubby Boardman, or Sturgis Podmore? I'm gonna go for Stubby Boardman. In which year at Hogwarts did Sirius become an Animagus? Oh my gosh. Fifth, sixth, seventh, or fourth? We know they were Animagus in their fifth, so it's either that year or before that year. So it's either his fifth year or his fourth year. Yeah, I'm gonna go for fifth. Question number 13, who once described Sirius as a nasty, ungrateful swine who broke his mother's heart? Bellatrix Lestrange, Creature, Severus Snape or Peter Pettigrew? That was Creature, definitely, I do remember that. In which chapter of Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban did Harry find out that Sirius was after him? Talons and Tea Leaves, chapter 6, The Night Bus, chapter 3, The Leaky Cauldron, chapter 4, or The Dementor, chapter five. Doesn't Arthur Weasley tell him? I'm gonna say that's The Leaky Cauldron because he stays at The Leaky Cauldron with the Weasleys in third year, so I'm gonna go for The Leaky Cauldron. Question number 15, who was Sirius Black's brother? Ramses Arcadia Black, Romulus Armitage Black, Reginald Artemis Black or Regulus Arcturus Black? My gosh, they were hard to say. It is Regulus Arcturus Black. Number 16, when he wasn't using owls, how did Sirius deliver letters to Harry? Tropical birds, carrier pigeon, buckbeak, or muggle post? Well, it's definitely not muggle post because we're talking about him sending letters to Harry at Hogwarts. Definitely also not buckbeak because buckbeak is also a wanted creature for his attack on Draco Malfoy, so, and he's really big, and, you know, no, it's not Buckbeak. Carrier pigeon or tropical birds? I also don't think it's a pigeon. I think it's tropical birds. I think it would be that silly that it's tropical birds. Number 17, what relation is Draco Malfoy to Sirius Black? First cousin, once removed. Second cousin, once removed. Second cousin or first cousin? Now, I know I said I was really good at the Black family tree, but when it comes to cousins, second cousins, first cousin once removed. What does all that mean? Draco is Sirius Black's cousin's son. Does that make him his second cousin or his first cousin once removed? I think it's first cousin once removed. It's Sirius's cousin's kid, so that's the once removed bit. I think it's first cousin once removed. Who first suspected Harry's firebolt was sent by Sirius? Albus Dumbledore, Professor McGonagall, Hermione Granger, or Oliver Wood? I want to say Hermione Granger. She's the one who reported it, but because this question is a thing, I'm starting to think maybe it's not. Maybe it was somebody else? But maybe that's what they want you to think. They want you to think it could have been someone else who first suspected it. I really need to reread the bloody books. Do you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for Hermione Granger. Question number 19. Who first told Harry the Dementors had been authorised to give Sirius the kiss? Remus Lupin, Hermione Granger, Severus Snape or Albus Dumbledore? In the film it was Hermione, so Hermione is a good option. Lupin no, because he would still have been out being a werewolf or recovering from it at least. Can we really have two answers that are Hermione one after the other? Or are they just trying to trick me again? You're just trying to trick me again, Pottermore. But it could be Snape, it could be Snape, it could be Snape. It's either Snape or Hermione. I'm gonna go for Hermione, because that's who says it in the film, and I'm just gonna trust that the film kept that the same. Oh no! No! It was Remus! I didn't even think Remus was gonna be there. Question number 20. While talking in the fire at Gryffindor Tower, who did Sirius name as a Death Eater? Barty Crouch Jr., Severus Snape, Igor Karkaroff, or Lucius Malfoy? I think it was Igor Karkaroff. Question number 21. Who complimented Harry's nice dog on platform nine and three quarters? Pavati Patil, Dean Thomas, Seamus Finnegan, or Lee Jordan? I think he might have been either Dean or Seamus. Oh, these questions are so bloody hard and annoying. <laughs> it's one of those things where you read it and it's like, nice dog, says this person, and it just, it just goes out of your head straight away. It's not an important piece of information to retain. Seamus Finnegan didn't like Harry at this time. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Dean Thomas. Oh no, it was Lee Jordan. It was Lee Jordan. Ugh. I didn't even consider him as being someone, but I suppose he would have been because he would have been there to see friend George. Question number 22, select all that apply. I hate these ones. Who of the following were in Azkaban at the same time as Sirius? Percival Dumbledore, Antonin Dolohov, Rubius Hagrid, Mrs. Crouch, Rodolphus Lestrange or Mavalo Gaunt. Okay, Percival Dumbledore. That was Dumbledore's dad? I doubt it. Antonin Dolohov. Was he one of the 10 that escaped in Order of the Phoenix? I reckon he could have been. Rubius Hagrid went to Azkaban in Chamber of Secrets for a short period of time. So yes, he was. Mrs. Crouch, yes. No, 
Yeah, no. Mrs. Crouch, no, because she went in after the events of Prisoner. She went in, in like Goblet of Fire kind of time, I think. So, no. Rodolphus Lestrange? Yes, because he came out along with Bellatrix. Marvolo Gaunt? I would have thought he died quite soon after prison. Was that not before or around the time Voldemort was born? So that was quite a while ago. So no, I don't think Marvolo Gaunt. I've got Antonin Dolohov, Rubius Hagrid, and Rodolphus Lestrange. I'm not 100% sure on Dolohov, but I'm going for it. Oh, Mrs. Crouch was also there. Dolohov, Rubius, and Rodolphus Lestrange were all correct, but I got it wrong because Mrs. Crouch was also in Azkaban at the same time as Sirius Black. Number 23. What was the name of the uncle who left Sirius Gold? Pollux, Arcturus, Cygnus, or Alphard? I'm pretty sure it was Alphard. Okay, so let's go through the other names. Cygnus Black is Bellatrix's father. Arcturus, I think, could have been Sirius's grandfather because Regulus Arcturus Black, that's where I'm getting that from. And Pollux was possibly his father. Yeah, I think it's Alphard, basically. I think it's Alphard. Number 24, we're near the end now, people. While in charge of the Ministry's investigation, where did Kingsley Shacklebolt claim Sirius was hiding? China, Tibet, India, or Nepal? Oh, for goodness sake. It's one of those throwaway pieces of information that it just, it just isn't relevant. But I do remember the scene. The one that I'm drawn to the most is Tibet. So, because I don't want this going on forever, I'm just gonna go for Tibet. Oh, that was correct, cool. <laughs> Number 25, what good luck token did Harry receive from Sirius before the Triwizard task? A hippogriff feather, a chicken bone tied with a piece of black string, a chocolate frog wrapper with the letter S scratched on the back, a folded piece of parchment with a muddy paw print. I don't even remember this. Oh, I'm gonna go with a folded piece of parchment with a muddy paw print. Oh, that was correct. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, I don't remember that at all. Number 26. What number was Sirius Black's fault at Gringotts? 711, 713, 714, 712. The one I'm kind of attached to is 711. I'm gonna go for 711. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't want this video going on forever. What was Hannah Rabbit's theory about how Black broke into Hogwarts? He knew a secret entrance in Hogwarts. Peeves helped him. He flew in on a winged horse. He could turn it into a flowering shrub. I think he flew into a winged horse. I'm going for it. <laughs> he could turn into a shrub. I remember her having a theory, but I don't remember what the answer was, obviously, because I got it wrong. Number 28. Which of Sirius Black's great aunt started the tradition of beheading old house elves? Cedrella, Elodora, Violetta, or Ursula? Well, obviously I recognize all of these names because I know the Black family tree so well. Yeah, they are all names in the Black family tree. I kind of like the name Elodora, so I'm gonna go for that. Oh my gosh, okay. We are very close now. What are we on? 29, we got two questions left. Question number 29. What were the last words Sirius spoke in the book? Harry Potter and the Order the phoenix get away from my godson come on you can do better than that nice one james harry take the prophecy grab neville and run i'm pretty sure he would have said all of these things at one point well we know the last thing he said in the film was nice one james but that doesn't mean it's the last thing he said in the book in the books he actually goes on to duel bellatrix and when dumbledore arrives at the ministry all the other death eaters and order members stop fighting but bellatrix and sirius carry on dueling so because of that i'm gonna say Come on, you can do better than that. Complete the title of Sirius Black's Christmas song. God rest ye, Mary. Hippogriffs, Muggleborns, Weasley Twins, or Snivellus. It's Hippogriffs. God rest ye, Mary Hippogriffs. I do remember that. Okay, few results. You got 26 out of 30. You scored 86%. That was indeed better than my previous quizzes. I did say I was going to do better at Sirius Black. Result? Seriously brilliant. Mischief managed. Whether you know him as Snuffles, Padfoot, or just plain old Sirius, your knowledge on the character is inviolable. The keys to Grimmauld Place are yours, if it was real. 26 out of 30. Oh, I'm so glad I did well on that one because Sirius Black is just one of those characters where I feel like I want to know more about him, you know? I'm definitely glad I got the family questions right because I boasted earlier on about knowing the family tree so well. That was the Back to Serious Black quiz. If you played along at home, why not tell me your scores down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like because that would be really awesome. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already, then why not subscribe to join my little magical corner. I make videos every single week, so come subscribe to join the fun. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.